Hey, this is Aaron from Geek Lemon Development, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the easiest way how to create a app icon in Photoshop and how to put it into your app. So here we go. Then let's get Photoshop up. Right then, we go new project. Now this is the easiest way for me and my favourite way, but everyone's got their own different way. So it's entirely up to you how you do it. But this is how I'm doing it. Now I'm going to make a canvas but with a size of 500 pixels by 500 pixels. So once that loads up, I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. So I'll get to see there. I'm just going to make it very, very basic. So I'm just going to give it a red background. And then give it some white text. Just going to write the word icon. Ooh, that, that font looks quite nice. So let's, let's stick with that font. Well, I'll make it bigger so it's more visible and clear to see. That will do. Let's place it in the center. Yeah, about there. Now I'm going to save it. Rather than save it as a JPEG, I'm going to save it as a PNG file. This just gives it a little bit more clarity to the image and it looks a little bit better. I'll just name that icon. It's going to save it to the desktop. Save. Um, yeah. So once that's done, it's got we got it here. So now I'm just gonna go straight over to Xcode. Gonna make a new project. And we can get view based application for the iPhone. Choose that. I'm just gonna name it icon. Save that. So let's wait for this to load up now. Right then. Make that, well, we'll just make it a little bit bigger so we can um, see it a bit more clear. Now, what you want to do on the, um, to get the app icon is, we want to go to, let me just find it now, the resource folder to the plist. And once that, um, there's a little folder here called app, well, the icon file. What we do is we get our little icon we created and we drag it to the resources folder, just like that. Copy it so we save well so it's saved into the project if you need it or anything like that. And then once it's in there, it should be here. There we go. So you go back to the plist. In there, you write what you named the file. So I've named it iconincapitals.png. So I write icon.png. Oh, that was lowercase png and then press enter and that should be done now so if we go to build and run save it yeah we should have a little nice like on the go now if you're a bit fussy with um, making it embossed or shiny or however right, I'll show you how to um, change it once we've had a little preview of this one so hopefully yeah App to load. Once the app loads, we're going to go straight to the home page and have a look at the icon. And there we go. Nice little icon there, and it has, has a little shine to it. So if you don't want that, just click the iPhone simulator. So what we do is we just add. We go to icon include gloss effect, so it already includes it, but we don't want it, so we leave it like that, and then we do that right. And then once it loads, we go back to the main page, and there it is, just nice and plain. And that I find is the easiest way to make your own and install the app icon. So thanks for watching, comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next tutorial.